Talk about spreading the ball around uh, a little bit tonight. Uh, I mean, you know, I, we got very talented receivers, and uh, the key was always the offensive line. I thought they did a great job tonight. Um, I just was reading the defense. Uh, I wasn't really picking and choosing. I was just sort of giving what they, I mean, their safeties were rotating, showing me everything. So just uh, just delivering the ball. I mean, once I get the ball in uh, my guy's hands, or just throw it up the drawn every now and then, it works out. So uh, I thought that everybody did a good job. Uh, we had some young receivers really step up today. I think Gino and uh, Austin caught their first touchdowns, which was really exciting. Um, and I was really proud of him. Nick, was the tempo better tonight? I know that's something that you guys have been working on. I thought it was a lot better. I thought uh, we uh, kept it more simple with our formations, and uh, our guys liked that. I thought we played at a faster speed. I mean, you can you can sort of tell at the time of possession. I think we only had like 20-something minutes there, 36, or you know, and that's us playing fast and scoring. And uh, we really came out in the second half. And um, I, I think the first half we had a lot of young guys on O line. Uh, some young receivers, so yes, from Jerry's, but I thought we came out and executed, and we we just we, we weren't doing anything wrong. We just got to execute a little bit better, and then we came out the second half, and Jerry's was gone. Jerry's were gone, and I thought we executed uh, even better. Is this the way this offense is going to look this season? Do you think? I hope so. Yeah. Uh, I think that's the strength. I think that's the strength of any offense is keeping in rhythm. And some guys have slower rhythm, some guys have faster rhythm. So that's the rhythm I want to keep. Um, I know the coaches like it. I love it. Players love it. So that's what we have to keep working on. It seemed like in the second quarter, you guys maybe had some issues with substituting in receivers. Did that have anything to do with the tempo and maybe stalling out in the second quarter? No, I don't think so. I think, uh, you know, I, we just didn't execute a couple plays. They gave us a couple things, and I missed the throw. I think the David Douglas right across the middle I could have put a little bit tighter. And, uh, you know, just a, here and there is execution, but we were reading it right. Um, we were running our routes right, and I thought the guys played well. Um, second quarter, um, you know, we were facing adversity, and that was good for our O-line to see that because we started out so smooth. I mean, the first series was nice and easy. And, uh, you know, in tough games, we're going to have tough times. And I thought the O-line really responded. I was really proud. I mean, that was the guys I'm most proud of tonight was the O-line, and I thought they did a great job. How were the guys at halftime? They are fine. I mean, it really felt like they were veterans in there. We went in the locker room, and, uh, and I said, I was told them, we got to do what we've been doing. We know how to play. Y'all got the jitters out. Uh, let's go out there and just execute and do a good job. And we went on the second half and uh, executed. And, uh, you know, we put the ball in the end zone and the rest is history. Situations like that, do you feel a little more comfortable like this is your offense and that you can be a little more outspoken? Definitely. I think uh, I feel real comfortable saying, that, you know, this is my team. We have a lot of leaders on, on, on this team, and that's what's great about it. But I got to step up in times with that, and I always feel comfortable. I, I, all I got to do is look in the guy's eyes, and I know I'm fine. You know, I can tell if they're fear or not. I didn't see any fear tonight. I, they're all ready to go. Sometimes it's not going to go your way, but they fought through it. They were, they were confident. They're confident in what they're doing. And, uh, you know, I was really proud of them. What do you expect you guys to get that pick at the third, in the third quarter there and then turn around and score right on the next play? Oh, it was, it was great for momentum. Uh, Trevin made a big play. It was great to see Trevin play like that. And then, you know, just gave the ball to Keola. And, uh, we talked to that about it actually before the game. Uh, I guess he saw this, the movie The Smurfs recently. So. I don't think any. I mean, we just got to keep doing our thing. Um, just every week, plays are going to change, different things like that. But uh, you know, what our team is, you know, we're not going to change anything. We're going to continue to work hard. And I think the key for us is play fast and really just believe. I mean, with anything, you got to believe. We got to believe how you know we're as good as we believe we are. And we go out there and we don't fear anything. You know, that's what guys are going to do, and we're going to play well. Any specifics that you think set you guys over the top from the teams that you've gone on to lately? Like, like, going into these next couple of games that you have, what do you think sets you guys apart? That game? From the other teams? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say set us apart. I think that all these teams are going to play. Um, Oklahoma says next week. You know, we're all we're all good teams. And, I mean, they they got our number last year, and I think that it's just going to come down to the wire. It's going to come down who wants it the mo most and who executes the best. I mean, we don't really, you know, it, come, it comes to a certain point where you don't have more than another team. You just got whoever has the most heart. That's really what it's got to be. So we got to go out there and play with all we got. Nick, when, when you're uh, when you're tossing up to Cryer, is there any thought that he's not going to come down with the jump ball? <laughs> no, I wouldn't throw it. Every time I throw the ball, I expect it to be completed. And with him, I mean, with anybody, but I throw it up there and I'm just ready to run down the field. And sometimes he makes some miraculous plays like he did tonight. I think that deep one uh, at the end of the second quarter, there's not many guys in the country could have caught that ball. Him getting 2,000 tonight, you know, does that just add to how prolific he's been so far? Oh, definitely. Um, he's just he's a really good player. He always wants to get better. And it seems like when that ball's in there, he always comes down with it. 
And, uh, you know, he doesn't say much. He goes out there and just plays with everything he's got, and that's what I love about him. And Nick, Louisiana Lafayette uh, does some similar things that U of A does on offense. They put up 34 points on Oklahoma State. What does that tell you for Tonight? next week's game? Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, I just think that's going to be Oklahoma State. They got a gut check tonight. Uh, how many points did Oklahoma State score? I think they were in the 50s. 50s? But, but I mean, you know, yeah. they're, they're, I, I would like to assume that your guys' offense is a little better than Louisiana Lafayette. The, I, the key, the key is just points. that we got to execute. We got to go out there and execute on one play at a time, like I always said, but we got to execute, start out fast and fast. And that's really the key uh, with them. I thought we beat ourselves last year, and, you know, they have a very, very good team, but I'm looking forward to playing against them. You feel like it could be a trap, right? Could be, could be anything. So I, I, you know, I'm just gonna go out there and play one play at a time and see what happens. See what happens at the end. How do you feel that playing on this game on short rest, as they are, is gonna be a benefit for you at all? You know, I don't know. Uh, I've never really played a game like this, so we'll see what happens. I think it, I think it is a benefit because you don't really have much time to sit and rest. You gotta keep going and uh, keep fighting. And uh, we gotta come out tomorrow and have a great practice. And I'll see what my team's at tomorrow. <laughs> great job, man. All right, thanks.